Hi, today I'm going to be making a bath bomb. Um, and it's those little, you've probably seen them in the store, they're the little round balls. And you put them in your bath and they dissolve, make your bath smell really nice and uh, you feel nice and clean and soft afterwards. So this is the my homemade version. Um, so you do it in two sections, the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients. So the first part is baking soda, citric acid, which I just got online, um, cornstarch, and then some oats. Um, and I've actually ground them up in the blender so it's smoother. First, get out your mixing bowl and you need a cup of baking soda. Bent my cup. Cup of baking soda. A cup of citric acid. Half a cup, sorry. Half a cup of citric acid. And then a half of a cup of cornstarch. Okay. Quarter cup of oats, and like I said, I just ground them up in my little blender. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up. And then we'll put together our wet ingredients. Um, we need olive oil, water, lavender oil, vitamin E oil, and borax, I know is not a wet ingredient, but it helps um, the wet ingredients incorporate with the dry ingredients better. Um, and then also we're gonna use to make it all stick together, you use witch hazel and you use it in a spray bottle and you spray the mixture and then it starts to clump together. So we'll do the wet ingredients first and then I'll show you that part. Okay, so you need two and a half tablespoons of oil and you don't have to use olive oil. You can use um, any oil that you want really. Almond oil would be good, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, and then three quarters of a tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Um, a half to one teaspoon of lavender oil, and that just depends on how strong your lavender oil is. If you know that it's 100% oil, um, you probably don't need to use as much, but um, I, I'm not frankly too confident that this is 100%, so I'm gonna go with um, a teaspoon of oil or if you just like it extra smelly great add more <laughs> okay now a quarter of a teaspoon of vitamin E oil you know what before I do that I'm gonna do the quarter teaspoon of borax then we'll do our oil. There we go. Whisk this up. Okay, now I'm going to slowly drizzle the wet ingredients, the oil mixture, into my dry and I'm going to use my hand mixer to do that. So slowly drizzle it in as you mix. Okay, now that we've mixed our dry and our wet ingredients together, um, you'll need a bottle of witch hazel, and I didn't have a, a bottle that was empty, so I just borrowed a spray nozzle. But um, we're gonna spray a couple sprays of the witch hazel in the mixture and then start just kind of packing it, and once it starts to hold together, then um, I'll measure it out into my, these are just a cupcake pan, um, if you have a cute mold or whatever, 
um, you can do that. But um, so I'm going to measure it out in here. You just want to make sure it's packed tight, 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 so it stays together um, for so it doesn't just fall apart for your bath. So. See how it just started clumping together? Okay, that should be good. So now I'm gonna take, we'll see what a quarter cup does. Okay, I'll just pack it tight, tight, tight. Let them, let them dry and then very carefully dump them out, maybe on a towel or something, um, and then just kind of tap the bottoms of the cupcake pans and they should slide right out.